CT Physics and Imaging, a guide for technologists, chapter 30, CT Contrast Special Considerations. There are very few strict contraindications to the use of iodinated contrast in CT. For example, iodine allergy contraindicates the use of iodinated contrast, but adverse reactions are commonly avoided by the administration of corticosteroids and antihistamines. Renal failure contraindicates the use of iodinated contrast, but sometimes the need for contrast-enhanced imaging is so important the patient is given contrast anyway. Recent contrast administration is considered a contraindication for fear of inducing acute renal failure, but sometimes the urgency of the situation outweighs the risk, and contrast is administered anyway. Additional caution is required in these special situations, pregnancy, lactation, and dialysis. Information throughout this chapter is acquired from the ACR Manual on Contrast Media, copyright 2021. Pregnancy. There is no evidence suggesting that iodinated contrast poses a risk to a developing fetus. However, there is not enough information to conclude that there is no risk at all. According to the ACR, quote, Diagnostic iodinated contrast media have been shown to cross the human placenta and enter the fetus when given in usual clinical doses. In vivo tests in animals have shown no evidence of either mutagenic or teratogenic effects with low osmolality contrast media. No well-controlled studies of the teratogenic effects of these media in pregnant women have been performed. End quote. ACR 2020, page 97. The ACR states, quote, Given that there are no available data to suggest any potential harm to the fetus from exposure to iodinated contrast media via maternal IV or intraarterial injection, we do not recommend routine screening for pregnancy prior to contrast media use. This recommendation is also supported by the FDA, classifying of most iodinated contrast agents as Category B medications. End quote. ACR 2021, page 98. The ICR concludes, quote, We do not recommend withholding the use of iodinated contrast agents in pregnant or potentially pregnant patients when it is needed for diagnostic purposes. End quote. ACR 2021, page 98. Lactation. Injection of iodinated contrast media for a breastfeeding mother is sometimes indicated. Fortunately, this does not present a major health risk to the baby. ACR states, quote, the likelihood of either direct toxic or allergic-like manifestations resulting from ingested iodinated contrast media in the infant is extremely low, end quote. ACR 2021, page 101. Very little contrast passes to the infant. According to the ACR, quote, Less than 1% of the administered maternal dose of iodinated contrast media is excreted into the breast milk in the first 24 hours. In addition, Less than 1% of the contrast media ingested by the infant is absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Therefore, the expected systemic dose absorbed by the infant from the breast milk is less than 0.01% of the intravascular dose given to the mother. End quote. ACR 2021, page 101. Many technologists and radiologists still encourage mothers to pump and dump for 24 hours. This is because nearly 100% of the contrast will be cleared from her bloodstream within 24 hours. The official recommendation from the ACR is that the mother should be informed of her options and make her own decision. Quote, Ultimately, an informed decision to temporarily stop breastfeeding should be left up to the mother after these facts are communicated. If the mother remains concerned about any potential ill effects to the infant, she may abstain from breastfeeding from the time of contrast administration for a period of 12 to 24 hours. There is no value to stop breastfeeding beyond 24 hours. The mother should be told to express and discard breast milk from the breast during that period. ACR 2021, page 101. In summary, the dose of contrast to a nursing infant is extremely low. There is no known risk to the nursing infant. Finally, the mother may choose to abstain from breastfeeding for 24 hours until the contrast is cleared from her bloodstream. Dialysis patients. The specific protocol for administering contrast to dialysis patients can vary between institutions. 
The information here is based on the conclusions and recommendations of the ACR. Quote, patients with aneuritic in-stage chronic renal disease who do not have a functioning transplant can receive intravascular iodinated contrast medium without risk of further renal damage because their kidneys are no longer functioning. However, there is a theoretical risk of converting an oliguric patient on dialysis to an aneuritic patient on dialysis by exposing him or her to intravascular iodinated contrast media. This remains speculative as there are no conclusive outcome data in this setting. In quote, ACR 2021, page 40. Quote, patients receiving dialysis are also at theoretical risk from osmotic load imposed by intravascular iodinated contrast media because they cannot readily clear the excess intravascular volume. This osmotic load can theoretically result in pulmonary edema and anascara, an issue that may have been more significant in the past when high osmolarity IV contrast media were utilized. Complications were not observed in one study of patients on dialysis who receive intravascular non-ionic iodinated contrast media, though the number of patients in that study was small. In patients at risk for fluid overload, low osmolality or isoosmolality contrast media should be employed with dosing as low as necessary to achieve a diagnostic result. In quote, ACR 2021, page 40. Quote, most low osmolality iodinated contrast media are not protein bound, have relatively low molecular weights, and are readily cleared by dialysis. Unless an unusually large volume of contrast media is administered, or there is a substantial underlying cardiac dysfunction, there is no need for urgent dialysis after intravascular iodinated contrast media administration. End quote. ACR 2021, page 40. Beware that many dialysis patients list contrast as a medication allergy. Careful questioning may reveal that the patient has not had a contrast reaction, but has been instructed by their nephrologist to avoid contrast. In summary, there is no conclusive evidence suggesting dialysis patients are harmed by administration of iodinated contrast. There is no need for urgent dialysis after contrast administration, except in the case of cardiac dysfunction or volume overload. Finally, the technologist should use the smallest dose possible, as with all patients.